astrophotography, the best hobby one can have. At least this would be the answer you would get from many astrophotographers out there, myself included. Once you start getting into the hobby, you will quickly realize that it can also be an extremely expensive hobby. Due to the high prices of equipment like telescopes or cameras, some people decide against starting this hobby. If I told you that you can do astrophotography for under $200, you probably wouldn't believe me. In this video, I want to show you that you can achieve amazing results in astrophotography with less than $200. But first of all, I would like to introduce the equipment that we'll be using for this project. Now I would like to introduce the equipment I would like to use for tonight in order to capture that object. So first of all, we need a tripod. In this case, you can use any tripod. In this case, I'm using this tripod. After that, I have attached uh, the camera to that entire setup. So in this case, I will use the Canon EOS 450D. It is a very affordable diesel art camera. So it's not that expensive, which makes it a great camera if you are planning to get started into astrophotography. And furthermore, we need a lens in order to capture images of the night sky. So in this case, I'm planning to use um, the 75 to 300 millimeter lens tonight. So as you can see, I have attached a lens to the camera. So this lens does have a focal length between 75 and 300 millimeters. Since we are not using a tracking mount tonight, I would like to use um, a very short focal length in order to use a longer exposure time later on. So tonight I would like to use a focal length of 75 millimeters, which will help me to achieve a longer exposure time. Still, the exposure time will be really, really short, but when using a focal length of 75 millimeters, I can use a longer exposure time compared to when using this lens at a focal length of 150 millimeters, for example. In the end, I've attached a remote shutter release cable to that entire setup because um, then I can control the camera all night long. So as you can see right there, I've attached this remote shutter release cable that helps me to capture multiple images. So I can set the exposure time, the time between the different images, and all of these settings that are important to capture multiple images tonight. So this is actually the entire setup I would like to use for tonight. So it costs less than $200, which makes it a very affordable setup for astrophotography. I really hope that we'll be able to capture some amazing images tonight. I really hope that we'll be able to capture a lot of exposure time and that the image in the end will be quite good. So wish me luck. The last two nights, there were always clear skies, so I was able to capture images of the Orion constellation with the equipment I have mentioned earlier in this video. So here you can see an image that I've captured. So far, I've captured nearly 4,000 images. So this is one image of these 4,000 images. This image has an exposure time of four seconds, an ISO value of 1,600, and an aperture of f4.0, which is the maximum aperture of this lens. So, the ISO value I've used is the maximum ISO value of this camera. As I have mentioned, I've captured almost 4,000 images so far, which results in a total exposure time of nearly four hours, which is actually quite a lot. I have decided to use the maximum aperture of this lens, which is f4.0. So for sure, the stars do not look that good due to the aperture, but it's very important to use the maximum aperture in this case in order to let in as much light as possible. Usually when using lenses for astrophotography, I do not recommend to use the maximum aperture of your lens. So this image I've captured of the Orion constellation, when zooming in, you can already see the Orion Nebula. So this object right there is the Orion Nebula. So you can already see a few structures in this object. And I really hope when stacking these images in the end, I can reveal structures in the Horsehead and Flame Nebula. So today and tomorrow, there will be another chance for me to capture images of the Orion constellation. So I really hope that I can capture even more images of the Orion constellation in order to achieve a longer exposure time, which should help me to bring out even more structures. In total, over three nights, I managed to capture around 4,000 images of the Orion constellation. The exposure time for each single image was around four seconds. In total, I managed to achieve an exposure time of almost four hours. After my computer spent an entire day combining the nearly 4,000 images, I was able to create this picture of the Orion constellation. It's amazing what can be achieved without a tracking mount and with under $200. This image consists of almost 4,000 single images. The Orion Nebula is clearly visible, but other objects like the Horsehead Nebula or the Flame Nebula can also be seen. By using calibration frames, I was able to reduce the noise of the camera even further. This image definitely shows that astrophotography doesn't have to be expensive and that you can achieve amazing results with affordable equipment. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask me down below in the comments and I will definitely help you. If this video was interesting and helpful to you, I would really really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so so much for watching and until next time. Clear skies, Felix.